Hello, John Perry here. Welcome to my first unboxing video. Very excited to do this. I've got this giant box right here, and this comes from Bone Clones, and they've sent me an assortment of skulls. I know what they are already, because I ordered them, obviously. But uh, I'm thinking of doing like a little, I don't know, competition in the comments section. For those of you that are subscribed, you gotta be subscribed first. If you're subscribed to my channel, stated casually, the first person to accurately identify all of the skulls that are in this box in the comments, I will send you a Stated Clearly sticker. It's a sticker of Darwin writing on the back of Archaeopteryx. Pretty cool. Just a little bit of background. Bone Clones makes replicas of skulls. I, um, I've been collecting skulls now for, eh, I don't know, probably six years or so. This is the first skull that I ever got. This is a coyote skull. And this is real. All the skulls that I have, that I own, I, I purchased. And I was just, when I first got this, I was amazed at how clean and perfect the teeth are. And then I started thinking about it. You know, I, I guess I had assumed that people were just finding skulls in the woods and they'd pick them up and then sell them on eBay or whatever. But I was like, no, there's no way someone found this in the woods. Someone farmed this animal and killed it when it was in its prime, when its teeth were still squeaky clean, shiny, and new. I looked into it a little bit and it turns out that this skull came from the fur trade. And the fur trade isn't really something that I'm keen on supporting uh, for ethical reasons, but having, having skulls is such a, such a cool thing. You know, you, you can learn so much by looking at them, by studying them. They're just neat to have on the shelf. They're amazing structures. I mean, this is, uh, I would say that this skull has inspired more thinking than probably any other object that I own as, as far as um, biological thinking goes, helping me uh, be creative and create the animations for Stated Clearly and, and so on and so forth. So I wanted to find a way to continue collecting skulls, but without uh, supporting the fur trade. So bone clones, bone clones is the way to go. And without further ado, let's crack this thing open and see what we've got inside. After I ordered this, I realized I was actually going to be in California next week, really close to where they um, produce all this. Probably could have saved on some shipping there. But my bad. Sorry, environment. By the way, I'm, I'm interested to hear. Uh, see people's uh, ethical debates about meat and the fur trade in the comments here. I'm sure many of you will call out my hypocrisy for eating meat but not supporting the fur trade. We've got a box full of, full of packaging styrofoam things. Ah, and little boxes. I'm actually, I'm actually really glad that they put boxes inside of boxes because you may have noticed that this package was extremely beat up. Should I open the big one first? Or should I open the smallest one first? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start small. So again, if, if you can guess what all of these specimens are, if you're the first person to comment, I will, uh, I will send you a Stated Clearly sticker. Preferably, you know, I guess I would say it'd be best if you could do that without Googling it, but I have no way to make sure that you don't Google it, so I'll just go ahead and say Googling things is fine. All right. So, oh, by the way, it's extra safe packaging to make sure that these things do not break, though bone clone skulls are actually not very breakable. They're, they're very durable. Oh, this is cool. This looks freaking real. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna, oh, hopefully, hopefully I didn't just show you the tag and give away what type of animal this is. But look at that, look at that creature. Amazing, it's beautiful. The, the, the texture on these is absolutely amazing. I mean, having, having owned several skulls already, um, just, the amount of detail that these things have is incredible. I mean, I don't know if you can see all the little sutures and textures. 
in that skull, but that is beautifully, beautifully done. It's incredible that these are not real. The only the only kind of giveaway that these are these are fake is when you feel it, you can kind of feel that it's not real bone. But also the turbinates, turbinates, <laughs> the inner inner bone structures of the nose. Um, if we compare if we compare this this guy to an actual uh, an actual coyote, you can see that the inside of the nose has extremely delicate bone structures in there. Bone Clones does those too, but not as good as nature does. I like, I like how he's got a little, I like how he's got a little underbite. There's specimen number one. Here's our second smallest specimen, our second smallest box. I don't know if it's the smallest specimen. Again, we got the the foam, and then the paper, and the little plastic bag. Man, I gotta be really careful <laughs> showing these because the tag says what it is, and I don't want to give that away. But check out that beautiful specimen. Wow. What can that be? Looks like a carnivore of some kind, right? It's kind of a trick question, by the way. You're gonna have to be kind of smart to figure this out, figure all these out. Here, let me, let me put these sideways for you. So you can compare them side by side. All right. And I'm, I, there's so many cool things I could do, talks that I could do, presentations I could do using these specimens, because they are all closely related creatures. And ooh, what is this? Oh, wow, this is really cool. This is bigger than I thought it would be. These are all very closely related specimens and very slight tweaks in form have caused um, all the variations that you're seeing here today. This is very, very, very cool. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you can see all these very well. Let's hold that up again. Last but not least, we got the big one. What did I do with my, oh, there's my scissors? It's complicated. Unboxing. My first ever unboxing. Recently, geneticists have taken a very special interest in this group of animals because of the amazing skull morphology diversity uh, within the group. And we've been able to um, study those differences and actually figure out the mutations that lead to those differences, which is why I'm so excited to have these skulls and why I'm so excited to eventually put together a presentation talking about these critters. This is wonderful. This thing, wow. That is huge. It's like, it's like, uh, yeah. I mean, bigger than my own head. This thing, if it wanted to, it could, this thing could eat, eat my face. That could definitely easily murder me <laughs> that is that is amazing so whoa. there we have it four specimens what are these specimens what are these creatures the first person to name all four of them uh wins and uh yeah i suppose you can use google not because i want you to but because but because I have no way to, uh, you know, 
stop you from doing so. So there we have it. Bone clones. These specimens are amazing. Good work to the people at Bone Clones. Uh, I'm super excited to have these. This is great. So long for now. Stay curious.